Well, for five months, no amount of money could have gotten you a Coney Island square knish because the machine that made them was broken. But as CBS News' Weijie Jang reports, the knish crisis, well, it's over. Enough with the questions already, says the chef at Katz's Deli on the Lower East Side. Why don't you have square knishes? You know, I don't want the round knishes. But for the past five months, the round ones were the only choice. When it wasn't here, people just leave angry because it wasn't here. A fire knocked out the machine that makes square knishes at Gabilla's factory on Long Island, which supplies them to vendors across the city. They have all shook their head and said uh, with a smile, no, they haven't got uh, square knishes. After striking out over and over during his visit, and a square it's Kendall Crocker's lucky day, his 50th birthday, in fact, and the first day square knishes are back in stock. Yeah, it's very good. Worth um, ordering to give it a go. The knish may sound square. It's a piece of dough with mashed potatoes stuffed inside and then fried. Of course, a lot of people put mustard on it. But it's anything but boring. It's a much nicer flavor because it's, it is deep fried and it just has a, a nice wholesome flavor to it. This New Yorker rushed to Katz's as soon as he could to buy two. When my mouth started watering, I was pretty hungry, so that's why I'm here now. From Kanish famine to feast. We're going to fly off the grill today. New Yorkers are cavelling, so are out-of-towners waiting for shipment. She was thrilled. She was so happy. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> the Kanish crisis is finally over. On the Lower East Side, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. Cabillas has been in business for more than 90 years with more than 8 billion knishes sold.